Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. And this is the Tuesday edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. This is Tuesday, the 5th of March. Let's go to the Dow. A little bit of a balance here, right at the Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone. Remember these two little parallel lines? Doesn't have to. This is a mini channel with two lines are parallel. It's called a channel. This is another channel. That's the inside track repellent zone. Remember, we we're looking at this. So the Dow is down 128 and 38,857. Near term, not long term, but near term, we've got short position, still holding that. The tactics are starting to weaken, but that nine period moving average is still, let me just show you here. You can see a little clearer. <clears throat> Oops, not here. Oh, I didn't realize I had that. Still, oh, let me just, I've got this here, I'll talk about. This is the iShares, this is where I show subscribers every weekend when I do my hour-long uh, video of the market overview, what we're looking at, uh, positions, what, why we're looking at those, etc. So you can see this is the 30-year T-bond yield, the, that's the white one. The brown one is the TNX, the 10-year yield. <clears throat> the cyan is the five-year. And I'd said we've got a made a peak D in the 30-year uh, and the weekly chart. And I'm anticipating that it pulls back. And then this will be the, the re rectangle trading band. And we're in that trading band right now. <clears throat> we're into the top of the line. Now we're pulling back a bit. This is with the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. Weekly chart. Um, it's doing quite nicely, but it's not breaking out. But it's still actually holding pretty well. Uh, that's a global timber and forestry ETF. The uh, Philadelphia Housing Index, really strong rally in a leg E. This is a weekly chart. This is what you'd expect in these conditions that the Philadelphia Housing Index would be pulling back, but it's not. It's been rallying. All right, let me get out of this because I wanted to show you. Let's get out of that. Uh, close workspace, save. Got to always save. Otherwise, there's a problem. Got it. Okay. Now I wanted to show you right here, we'll go to this particular chart, and it's called Blank Demo, and there it is. So don't think, I think there's a trend change right now, at least in the Dow and the, and the s and I'm waiting to see whether there's some kind of a balance or what's going to happen in the SMHs, and we'll talk about that. But look, here is the, uh, let me just do this right now, we're out of this position. So let me go to this one right here. <clears throat> yeah. So you see that the for the first time, the green nine period moving average is pulling back. The 14 period moving average, the black line, is just starting to dip a little bit. Uh, but until there's not just a sharp close under the 14 period moving average, until the green line, that's the nine period moving average, fails and goes under the 14. Will we get any? I don't even have a cell signal, let alone a cell mode, which is an upgrade of the cell signal. But I do have right here, I have it from there to there. You can see the on balance volume went a little higher, got that exact little peak right there, but nothing's happening. Now, here is the chart when it's talking about just the gray line. Thick gray line is the Dow itself. See how it's gone under the 14 period moving average? The day is young, but I, I think there's going to be. I'll talk about it in a moment, but I think there's going to be selling, and I don't see any. I don't have any time sequence, or anything right now. Uh, it's within a little window, but I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about when the selling starts in the semiconductor index. I think it won't be time. It won't be anything that really makes it. it won't be uh, the moon. It won't be the Chapman wave. It won't be the uh, Elliott wave. It won't. It'll be the selling that precipitates a very sharp waterfall cascade to the downside. And that would be a sign to say on the shorter term, and we don't know yet if it'll be even a short term, but if it is, that could become an intermediate term sell-off. 
you know, really important sector, the Semite. It hasn't happened. It's not even close yet to happening, but it's getting close itself. Look, here's the SMHs. Look how strong the line period moving average has been. Uh, even on the, these dips, it hasn't turned pink. It's still green. That's very positive. So I'm watching it very closely. A little doji candle right now uh, from yesterday's high. But it does that every once in a while. But you wouldn't expect that at highs, all-time highs, you get this tiny little candlestick momentum when you throw a ball up. There's that absolute split second where there's 0% gravity. It's not going up, but it's not going down. It's what happens the very next moment that tells you. And this is the very next moment. So that's just a hint to say, we haven't gone yet above yesterday's high in the semiconductors. I want to get, I, I really want to get to this first. So the Dow is down 173. Um, I said to subscribers, this is a Chapman wave. Uh, I'll do it on this chart that I show subscribers every day. This is a Chapman wave Roman candle, a green Roman candle. And that says within two sessions, if there is a 90 minute hold below the midpoint of the long wick at the bottom, and I said uh, 38, 8, and 30, be careful because not only could you take out the high of Friday, the lower Friday, but it could go quite a bit lower under the 14 period moving average. That's exactly what it's done. And now it's at, I really use this. This is a 20 period exponential moving average. Okay. So that's what I was showing. And you've got a dreaded H pattern in the 120 minute chart. This is an automatic 38630 is an automatic Chapman wave um, support level. These are automatic uh, Chapman wave resistance levels. And it's being repelled from those levels. So the real thing is, how does the Dow on a 120-minute basis treat 38,741.68? If it closes decisively below that for about two bars, it's 120-minute bars, you could see a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside of the arch. I'm only saying, I'm not saying that's going to happen. That's the technique. I'm going to show this right now because I, I have it here and some of you asked, what's that chart on the right? This chart on the right has the Dow. This is the weekly chart. Green, green, mostly green. There are two red candles, maybe three um, red candles in the weekly chart. This is the S&P. Look how strong that is. Way above all that resistance in the cup formation. It's really a bull formation. And here's the NDX 100 right there. And here's the SMH is leading the way. Remember, my, my theory always is the SMH is the semiconductors. This is the 21st century crude oil of the 1900s. As important, even more important, no, I wouldn't say more. It's as important. In some sectors, it's way more important. Um, that's chips. That's, my, that's the chips that go into everything these days. The automobiles used to have like five or ten chips. I don't even know how many hundreds they have now. All right, so this is the SMH is very strong. And the one that's lagging is the IWM. And even today, the IWM is down 50, uh, 61 cents at 2.65. I just like to see the relationship. And they're all going up, some are a little stronger than the others. Uh, there's some other things I wanted to show you here. <clears throat> Let me just do this to make it as simple as possible. I could go to the other one, but I'm going to go to this chart right here. Look, uh, that's the dollar. The dollar for the first time in a while, I went green. Um, it's been green for the nine pre moving average. Went pink for a couple of days. And now I'm not sure. It's a little bit blurred. It looks like it is. It's gone from L to S, or maybe it's back to L. I want to show you this chart right here. I'll be right back. That's a chap from Tiger Technicians Hour. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, so just to show you, this is called my the embarrassing um, indicator of last resort. Why is it embarrassing? Look, if you went long in video, you would have got chopped around over here for about a year, um, yeah, it's called a year and a half. But once it starts to hold the green or the pink, in this case, the green line, you can just hold it, in this case, at 475, and it's trading right now at 845. And that green line is still there. Even that sharp pullback with the price went way under it did not turn pink. This is the daily chart of NVIDIA. Look at the SMHs. The SMH, same thing. Uh, you would have got out and you have to would have to get back in almost a day later. Uh, but it kept you in that in the trade. So that's the reason why when I say a long term for the Dow, <clears throat> no intention of uh, getting out. We've been long since the, the low there from since the low of March of 20. Oh, no, the March. Sorry, this is the October low here uh, going back to the uh, March low. Uh, of the Dow and the trading positions are uh, you've got to consider this so this is green it's getting overextended by any stretch of the imagination but you you have to have patience to wait that means sometimes you can you can go from the high to where you get the confirmation of the pink and you lose a lot of points but in the whole on the whole you've made a huge chunk on the way up so I want you to show that chart now I want to go to something that I think is Absolutely imperative to monitor. Why? Because look, in the SMHs, in the SMH, uh, down 3.37 right now, 220.66. And I said to subscribers, we, we, this is what we're looking to try again to short. And one of the reasons is in a, in a sector, in an index, in an ETF, you have all these positions. How on earth, just before you make an all-time high, 
can you get an open of a round number? This is not the first round number, but it's a round number of 224. Oh, where, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Open 224.00 makes an all time high of 227.13. And all I can say is uh, that is so unusual. Look at this RSP. RSP is the SP equal weight ETF. So that's the 500 stocks, but this is measured as an equal weight. In other words, uh, they, they've uh, reconfigured it so you have equal weight for the stocks. Well, look what happened. It went to, this is now, uh, today is Tuesday, on Friday. It has this huge chap wave, a, a green Roman candle, closes above it. If it closes above it for two days, and that high is 164.00. It also opened the day at 163.00. This is 500 stocks, <laughs> and it comes in with a, with a round number, and then today it has a Chapman Wave 2-bar reversal. The high yesterday was 164.70. Today's high is 164.67, three cents lower. The day's young. Anything can happen. But I'm looking at this unbalanced volume is very overbought, and then I say to myself, well, wait, what are you going to do? That's all really the question here is, so what are you going to do? Well... The MACD is strong. The relative strength is strong. The 9 is way over the 14, and the price is way over the 9. But the most important thing is that the stochastic's at 95.10%. Well, let's go back to this chart right here, which we haven't looked at for some time, and let's see what that means. That means... Uh, wait, this is the uh, RSP, RSP. Mm -mm. Why am I not getting it? RSP, there it is. That means that when the stochastic is at 96% and flat, it's only when it reverses sharply and comes down, you've got to be somewhat careful, but then you've got all the other indices. Look what happens when it reverses sharply after being so strong in the 90% plus area. When it comes down, that's where you start to see weakness, but that has to really pull back. And that just says to me that it has to be something that triggers the sell-off. And you're not getting it. If you're getting it, uh, it has to come from, as I said, I think it has to come from the S&P to get a concerted effort. I'm not just talking about a, a day, a, one of these daily pullbacks, big red candle, then it flips back to green. No, I'm talking about three candles, big red, three candles. Well, yes, this, this is the S&P itself, 87% in the stochastic and flat. On balance volume is just turning down. It's overbought, but it's just turning down. MACD is turning down a little bit. But there's that green line. It hasn't turned pink. So it is frustrating in the sense that it is so easy just to stay in the long positions don't even think of the short positions. Um, when we're at highs like this and we keep getting a particular sector. Now, let me show you. Look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is down, oh, it's down today, down eight uh, points at 843. It made a high yesterday, all time high of 876.95. It had uh, right. Day before, the day before, it had a round number open of 800, ran to 823 as the all-time high. 823, and then what happens? The next day, gaps up and goes to an even higher high. But this cluster of round numbers is a phenomenon that I can't ignore because it's telling me that there are uh, fund managers and whatever it is, big money is coming in and saying, I've got to have it. Of course, for every buyer, there's a seller. But you can go back, go back in the charts and have a look at your daily charts, go back to any of the previous peaks. You never saw anything quite quite as uh, uh, consistent as this. However, <laughs> NVIDIA has been doing this since it was down 
on January the 31st, um, 607 was the low, a round number low, and here it is, um, over 50% high, 643, uh, no, 40 something percent high, and uh, hasn't yet turned down. So am I making a big deal about nothing? Well, I always say that the technical tools I use come to me. I actually, would, would I ever look for round numbers? Who would even think of that? Would I look for a chapter wave instant restart or the overlapping wave? No, over the decades and over the thousands, hundreds of thousands of charts that I've notated, this is the thing that the configuration that I look at pops out at me and says, hey, you've seen this so many times, don't you think it means anything? All I'm saying is that this is, I can only look back in a few weeks' time, see where the price is, but something tells me that this whole sector, advanced micro devices I was asked about, yep, I'll look at that. AMD had a 193 round number low. Uh, when was that? 193. Wow, long time ago, huh? I forgot to put it whether it was an open or closed. Uh, anyway, it had a round number, it popped up to an all time high of 211.01 yesterday. And it's trading right now 201.72. It is down three and a half. I'll go through some of these as I was asked about that. AVAV drones they make had a huge gap to the upside. Beautiful action. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, so it looks like that 5100 level, that was that midpoint from the rectangle channel that I drawn in. 
As I said, I think over the period of the next few weeks, this is going to be a really important level. We've been way above that. We've been at the 5150s, and here we are at 50.96. We hit that 51 level, 5100 level, leg D in the 10-minute chart, and we can get back to that in a little while. So this is what I wanted to say. That for, as we're going out, there were people, a couple of people have asked me about AVAV. That was the Investor Business Daily yesterday, right up, had really good earnings. This is uh, Aerovironment. It's one word, Aerovironment. I think I can't stand when they mix words like that. Just, yeah, anyway. It does farm and military drones, switchblade, it's called. Uh, fantastic action. Tootling along with round number open yesterday of 135. Has a round number 130. Uh, 130. Oh, I wrote that incorrectly. A round number opens at 135. Oh, and that 135 was also the high. And then what happens today? The low is one. It opens at 150.64. Amazing. Yeah, 15 points higher, and it screams to 165. Now, will that come back to the 135s? I don't know. It's a leg F in the. Uh, uh, monthly chart, I wouldn't be surprised if that's an alternate count, F slash B. But the weekly chart has got the peak A, B, C, a leg D right now. And the daddy's got a D. Oh, this is fantastic. I had this, actually, I was looking at this a while back, and uh, it irritated me, the air environment uh, name. So uh, AVAV, and I thought, okay, just keep it in your list, and I, I just forgot about it. And then I saw it. And that is spectacular action. <clears throat> so, Let's get back to our story. So I want you to just go through this. I had a question also about ARM. ARM, this is ARM Holdings, uh, licensing for semis, trading down five and a half at 132.53. Had a round number, 164, round number high, all time high. I must put in that date, because I keep talking about it. That's the 212. All right, let's just put it in. Uh, here we go. 2, 2, 12, 24, and We've seen a whole chunk of round numbers in the others, but funnily enough, this one seems to avoid that. It doesn't like round numbers. Oh, 137 low was the low of the 27th of Feb. Uh, let me just double check. I think it had that, and I think it might have had one more. Well, so far, oh, yes, there it is. Um, right there. Uh, oh, that's today's lows, 130 round number. I can't tell you how many of these stocks had round number lows or highs, and they took them out intraday. But they were there, and they were there for long enough for me to see them. So I'm just saying to you, there's a chance, failing at a peak B, coming around, if at any point in the next week or two, um, Arm Holdings takes out 115, closes below 115. That's a big problem. It's giving up all of this sideways action with the 164 high, round number high. Uh, question came in, so I did NVIDIA, did that, did that. Oh, here's the other thing. Look, here's the SMHs. Did I just, I think I did. The SMHs had a 227.13 high yesterday. Oh, yes, I did. And it had a 224.00 round number high. Here it is down four and a half or two now. I think that when the selling comes into the semis, it's going to be so quick. It's going to be equivalent to what we've just seen for the buying that's come in in gold. The gold is up 16, like 2143. Um, we had talked about the way it held the 200 period moving average, that the green, nine, the pink nine period moving average needs to turn green. And the moment it turned green from the low that was made on the 29th of February of 2036, huge green candles. And the target would naturally be. Let me just draw this in first. That would be your first target, trend line, repellent zone right there. It's getting close to it. But with this kind of power, can it even be stopped unless there's something going on? So now you have to look at gold and say, wait, is that purely because it's an over, a very over, a very oversold condition? Well, I think there are a couple of things going on. If you look at the GLD, this is a, a new recovery high, yearly a multi-year high, right? As we're trading up at 197.64, up a dollar sixty. There's your leg D in the weekly chart. 
Nine period moving average looks fabulous. MACD turned back to positive. Stochastic was really weak, but now it's at 69%. Still weak, but improving. On balance volume in the weekly is a little overbought. And there's this very strong move up in the MACD. And one of the reasons why I put the MACD above the stochastic is every once in a while, you have such a powerful move from the low that it gives like a, a squash, shallow wave squash. And squash says, uh, it, it's like a, like a, a little uh, rubber ball that you squeeze and then as you open it, it just pops back up. Well, that says very quickly do you get from a, a peak A to a B to a C and then maybe there's a little bit of a rest before it gets to a D because the torque, the momentum that comes from the torque, the, the stochastic running sharply from 20, under 20% to over 80% uh, is at 96% right now is the reflex action like a spring that says, now I can hand the torque over to the momentum of the MACD. On balance volume is getting uh, uh, somewhat overbought. So we could see some kind of a pullback. A little doji candle so far. The day is just a year, over, just a, a, over a, an hour long. So within that context, this is really good action. Let's look at silver. Silver's trading up uh, 20 cents at 24.19. Had a lousy action a week ago. It was down to the bottom of the 2250s, and here it is, 24.19. Uh, um, very good action. That's leg B. But what we've seen very often in these reflex, a we don't know if it's a reflex action just yet, but what I am going to say is have a look at the dollar. The dollar, whoops, sorry, put it over there. So there we go. The dollar, the DXY. Is it really accelerating yet to the downside? Yeah, it's down 14 ticks at 13070. I suspect it's going to make the, the challenge of the dreaded H right there. And if it takes out and closes underneath the 200 period moving average and takes out the 10343 in the continuous contract below the 22nd of February, then we've got a much bigger consolidation going on there. But that weekly chart is still positive at this particular point based on the R uh, on the 914. So within that context, let's look at the EURUSD. And that currency pair, euro, dollar, um, euro and the dollar currency pair, is not breaking out yet to the upside, but it is rallying. And if you look at the commensurate move down in the USD JPY, that's the US dollar Japanese yen, of that major double top in the 151 area, <clears throat> this is holding really well. But it is down 54 cents at 149.98. Peak two, peak C1, peak C2, it's like a, a peak C3 even. It's like a, it acts like a, a peak D. It's a kind of a top. But it, it, I haven't even got a sell signal yet in this. I haven't got, let me just look at the dollar. Uh, the dollar is just about to give a sell signal. I have to wait for the end of the day, but not a sell mode just yet in the daily chart. So this is very interesting because you've got... Um, Silver up sharply above the 23 moving average, not really breaking out, but you're acting very well, certainly. So I'm watching this very closely. GDX is the gold miners, stalled right at the 200 period moving average. That's what we spoke about yesterday at 28 and 90. What does it do at that point? I'll be back now, some 2 15, SB is down 45. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Correct. Uh, I was asked if the pink and the uh, one five of the uh, 10 minute cross beat the short of the way through. Yes, right now the one minute chart you're getting is just a slight change of, uh, just a slight attempt at going positive. So let me just add a quick three. No, I had four or five questions that I need to get you right away. So um, uh, you, you just said there's a trend change in the SPY, correct? No, what I said was with this doji candidate 5140.33 with a round number that I had on the RSP, my suspicion is that we're getting to a moment <clears throat> where if there is intense selling in this, you've, you've got to see the SMHs going down with the market. Now the SMHs are building steam to the downside. Might we just missed going short that again. Um, the SMHs um, is down almost five. What I did say is from the look of the spy with that candle going from, remember, every time I see a G slash C with an overlapping wave, <clears throat> with an alternate count, I'm sorry. I'm just doing two things at once. What happened to my mouse? There it is. Uh, click. That went to a D, and it went to a D in the inside, Chad Wave inside track repellents. I'm, I'm going to do this for a moment because it is so important. I, I noted ages ago, I mean, I'm talking about maybe more than 20 years ago, no, more than that, more than 20 years ago, that you can take channels. Channels are important, but within the channels, if you learn how to have what I call the inside track repellent, a little mini channel that tells you every time it goes inside here, what happens next is really important. Is this the same candle that we got just the other day when we made that peak G and pull back in the S&P? At this particular point, it's a gap down from that little tiny uh, evening sun or what you want to call it. It's a tiny doji candle. It's so not even a dragonfly candle. <clears throat> That just says to me, from the high in the spy of, from the high in the spy of 514.20, with a round number low of 300 and, yeah, 312. So let me just type that in. 314.20. It's a work in progress because I don't think we have any news right now to say 300. Two, four. I'm putting 4.20. 4.20. Uh, 
with the news, there's no real news to say, oh, man, this market has to tank. So without that dark news, because the yields are coming down, crude oil is not breaking out. So it has, and gold is spiraling up uh, for a couple of reasons. I, and I, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But what I am looking at here is that this, with an overbought situation in the on-balance volume, right there, with a stochastic flat at 87%, with a MACD about to turn negative, it just has turned negative, but the NIPRI is still very strong. It has to be selling pressure. And my suspicion is that the selling pressure has to come from areas uh, like the semiconductors. It, it just has to, to get a continuation of the selling pressure. Okay, so what I'm going to say to you is, it is the start in the weekly chart is still a leg B. And it made a new high yesterday, so this is still a leg B. All week it's a leg B, even though you have to call a leg B until the end of next week, where it become a, could become a PB. But I'm saying on a short-term basis, I'm anticipating from everything that I've been looking at, there is some kind of selling pressure that just selling begets selling. A little biblical saying, maybe, huh? Selling begets selling. Um, there are no sheep or lamb or ox or anything, but it's selling begets selling. And we'll have to watch it. Why? Because it's at 507. If the spy actually closes under 504, under 50, oh, 503.80, something in that area, that just says, hey, finally that green period moving, that green nine period moving average can actually start to get under the 14, but it'll take even more than that to do it. I'm done with that. So it's a, it's in the process. I think we're in the process of making some kind of a short-term top, but you've got the XLF, and I have to go to other things right now. The XLF is trading up at a new recovery high. The all-time high is 41.70. It's at 40.57, and I blink away from potential double top, but it's doing very well. So you've got this rotation. Okay, question came in. Here we go. PLTR. What do I think of Palantir? I, t I said yesterday I didn't get to do it. I said that I think that the, tw uh, the 22s is going to be very important for support. And right now it's at 23.59, down 45. It's made a potential double top of that peak F. I'm watching it because at any point, if it closes under 2203, uh, 22.29, let's just say if it closes under 22, it's going to fill a chunk of, not the, maybe the gap, but at least some part of the candles down below. It has to get to the 2630s by Friday. I think it's, it's a really good weekly chart, good monthly chart. I just think it, it looks like a, a break is coming. mRNA, uh, that's a rest period. mRNA, Myrna. That is Moderna. Look at it right here, trading at down a dollar ninety-two at ninety-four point oh eight. So this keeps getting stories, and then it has no story. I think it's in a trading band. It's at ninety-four. I think ninety-six eighty, ninety just under ninety-seven is your resistance. But if it breaks under ninety in the next week, that's a problem because it should, it should probably test the 85 area support. But right now, it's just going sideways. I, I just, I, I can't see anything in it. It's not breaking down, it's not breaking up, it's just stuck. Next question came in, QQQ. Yes, the QQQ made a new all-time high on Friday, but it hasn't on Monday and Tuesday. I'm thinking this could very well become a peak C in the weekly chart. So in leg C, I have to wait the entire week to call it a peak C, because it's a, a weekly candle. It's a leg B in the monthly, so very positive looking out, shorter term. Look at that pullback. This one needs at 436. If it closes under 430 this week, that's a real problem. It sounds like a lot. Another six points down, it's down eight already. But that's what I'm saying. And it'll be fantastic if we can go to the 447, 448 area. That'll be, I just don't think it's going to do that right now. I am very cautious. Raising cash, um, I did that, did that, did that, did that. So AVAV, um, this is an amazing move, and it's holding very well. It's right in the perfect sweet spot. When I looked at it, I said, got to buy it, and I didn't realize the earnings were so fantastic that it would gap up. Um, it's up 34 right now at 165.09. Um, well, that's all I can say. So let me just sum up before we, we go out of this uh, for, the, for the final Final round. I just wanted to see here. We've got 
Mır 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 mır. Yeah. Yes. So what I want to look at here is just briefly before we go to the break, a uh, Tesla and oh, thank you for that message. I don't get the Hong Kong market anymore. I used to get them all for some reason. I haven't been able to get them on trade station. Uh, 179.32 is Tesla's um, price right now down eight. This is dreaded H. I think it's in a failure of peak A. It's under the 200 period moving average. It's been a repellent zone. Area and just look at that book. And I would just say to you, if you're short, I'd stay short. I'd probably say take some part of your position and just lower the stock to about 190. And I would probably. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, folks. So just to wrap it up, um, we will see. Well, that's I. That's the kind of I share so much that media. We made it eat, eat, and now it's starting to pull back. It is training at 23.18. It has to hold 22.60. Otherwise, it goes back towards the 21s. That's really important. Uh, the Hong Kong, if you look at EWH, I don't like to use the ETF because it really doesn't always conform exactly to the uh, uh, index itself. But this has the dreaded H in the monthly chart um, at the 50, at the quarter of the 16 level. <clears throat> And it's trading at 15.96. It's gone under it. It has two bars, which is decisively close above it. This is a bit of a problem um, overall in the market. The, one of the things I like to look at over the years is sometimes you get selling that is pure selling for selling sake because you've got no more buyers left. And that's what I think the round numbers are telling me. There are very few buyers left, and you're now vulnerable to selling just to take profit. That's not that says this is your cycle date. This is just some upset. It's a good number.